All right, this is grade three, module one, lesson 20. We're reaching the end of this module, and we're going to be solving two-step word problems, and we're going to be modeling them, all right? It's using tape diagrams. The big thing about tape diagrams is there is no official way to do it. I'm just going to show you one way. Uh, if your students come up with other ways that are equally cool, more power to them. All right, here's our first problem. A uh, teacher has 12 green stickers and 15 purple stickers. Three superstar students are given an equal number of each color sticker. How many green and purple stickers does each student get? So I might label these, okay, green and bl uh, purple, all right? And since we have three students, I'm going to model this lay and label this with our three students. All right, three students, and we have 12 greens. And then the big question is how much does one student get? And so, using a little bit of math, we can see that. Each student gets four green stickers, and I need to move this down a little bit. And here's our purple, and we're going to do essentially the same thing. We've got three students, and only now we have 15 purples. And then what does one student get? That one student gets five purples. So one student receives four greens and five purples. And there's your answer. Four greens, five purples. In this problem, a store has 28 notebooks in packs of four. Three packs of notebooks are sold. How many packs of notebooks are left? So let's first model. Um, we have 28 total. So I'm going to put, here's our 28 total, 28 notebooks. And they're put in packs of four. So that means one pack right here is four notebooks. And I'm going to label it four again. So then the big question is, well, how many notebooks do we need to equal 28? So here's another four. Here's another four. Here's another four. And we just keep going until we have reached 28. And students will eventually discover that it's going to be seven packs of notebooks uh, will equal 28 notebooks, so there's seven packs. Now, if three of them are sold, so that means this is gone, this one's gone, and this one's gone, so the question is how many are left over? There's going to be four packs left over. Now, if some students wanted to, they could say, well, that's 16, because four times four is equal to 16 notebooks. So four packs left over, 16 notebooks left over, although the question was really just asking how many packs are left over. And that is lesson 20. Nothing too magic about our models that we're drawing, just uh, using those tape diagrams and try and uh, have the kids talk their way through it. It does, they all, everybody doesn't have to draw the same tape diagram, but each student does have to be able to explain the diagram that she draws.